Hey, welcome to this video. You arrived here. You're probably searching for a view of Sedgwick work from home. So I'll go over how it works. I'll give you my two cents, whether I think it's a good use of your time. And if you like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full-time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I can send you my free training if you want. Sedgwick, let's dive in. So what it is, uh, basically, it's um, they're a claims company that handles you know, leaves of absence, property claims, brand reputation, that sort of thing. And they've been around since 1969, uh, Sedgwick has. They're based in Tennessee, and they have a 3.2 star rating on Glassdoor, uh, 3.7 stars uh, for their benefits and 2.4 stars for their uh, interviews. So I guess a lot of people are finding the interviews uh, a bit challenging, but they're a legit company. Um, what I like about them is they have very uh, flexible jobs in terms of scheduling. And now this role uh, you might be interested in, it's part-time over the weekend. It's a customer service uh, rep role. And um, so so maybe you're already working full-time. I know people, a lot of people watching this video are probably working full-time. So this might be a nice addition to your full-time income. And um, the nice thing about this job is, um, well, it's part-time, but also it doesn't require any previous experience, uh, which is quite rare. Um, so if you're someone who doesn't have a college degree or, or maybe your job history isn't the most squeaky clean, maybe you, know, you have a large gap in your resume um, or you switch jobs a lot, then this position uh, might be for you. Um, now it says, uh, these are their uh, preferred states. Um, oh, so, so yeah, it's telecommuter and these are the available locations and these are the uh, uh, preferred locations. So, uh, but it's available in all these uh, 12 and um, it's your standard call center rep job, right? So, and if you're, by the way, if you're not in these states, then I'll, I'll show you a couple other jobs, but um so you'll be expected to provide, you know, excellent customer service, um, both to um, employ employees, or no, sorry, sorry, you provide customer service to external customers and internal support. So what is internal support? That's just other departments within the company, essentially, like maybe the sales department or the you know accounting or IT department, what have you, or operations. Um, you'll be documenting and noting um, uh, your phone call conversations. You'll be resolving issues. You'll be performing administrative tasks. So it's um, um, you, you're going to be pretty good at multitasking, comfortable being on the phones with people, you know, taking lots of inbound calls as well as outbound calls. But it, I primarily it would be inbound calls, I would imagine. Um, now, you do need at least a high school diploma or GED. Um, you, don't, you do need to be reasonably computer literate. So, um, be, you know, you should know your way around the office suite, uh, be organized, be able to research things in Google, uh, be able to, you know, turn your computer monitor off and on, just, just basic things. Um, also, um, they're looking for someone who uh, has some customer service experience, um, preferably, right? It's not an absolute, but so whether you've worked as a barista or maybe you worked in retail or you've worked in a call center, right? Really anything uh, would help uh, get you the job. Now, um, and now this isn't listed, but you should also be a reasonably fast typist, right? I would think so. You know, for probably you know, 40, 50 words per minute. They don't list typing speed, but but um, just to make your life easier, if you can type at least 40, 50 words per minute, that would help. And if you don't know your typing speed, just come to typingtest.com and you can actually get yourself evaluated on here as well as practice your typing because it is a skill uh, you can improve on with practice. They have some excellent benefits as well. Um, so, you know, 401k contribution, medical, dental, uh, vision, paid time off. And yeah, I just, I, yeah, it's actually quite rare for a part-time job to offer all these benefits. So kudos to them for doing that. Um, 
not i'm sure they're not doing it out of the goodness of their, their heart but still you know it's, it's nice nice uh very generous now um now again with this sort of job um you do need to be comfortable taking lots of inbound calls you'll be hooked up to a headset um and um and you have to be comfortable multitasking as well so this is not a job for everyone um you know i worked at a call center for six years and it can be very fast-paced and hectic and i was pretty burnt out by the end of that six years so um but for a temporary gig you know it's it's not bad um they don't mention anything about equipment um sometimes with these jobs they'll provide you with uh you know dual monitors so you can toggle back and forth uh headset uh, keyboard but that's not mentioned here so maybe you might have to provide your own um equipment as far as the monitors if you want dual monitors uh, and headset goes you'll definitely need a headset but um as far as the pay that's another thing they don't tell you which is kind of a pet peeve of mine <laughs> uh yeah they don't they don't mention it anywhere here but um if you google gla a glass door sedgwick customer service uh, you can see they pay uh thirty nine thousand six hundred dollars on average um so what is that it's about twenty dollars an hour that's not bad um so it's not great it's not terrible it's kind of somewhere in the middle as far as you know a customer service job um now they do have other jobs you can browse on here uh you'll want to type in to the keywords uh so you want to type in the keyword telecommuter uh and uh that's that's the trigger word so um but um so that that that's where it'll pull up the remote work from home jobs but just to save us time uh, another one is the bilingual spanish entry-level customer service coordinator representative so it's basically the same thing as the previous job i just talked about except um you do have to be fluent in spanish you know which a lot of my viewers are i think so that might be something worth looking into as well. Um, and finally, um, this is a claims representative role uh, for the for um, uh, auto auto claims, auto coverage. Um, this one is available in 48 states. So more or less available all over the United States. You'd be reviewing uh, and documenting auto insurance claims. Um, it looks like there will be some phone work but um, but not nearly as much as the customer service rep. Uh, you'd mostly be doing research and you know typing, entering data. A bachelor's degree is preferred for this job, but it's not an absolute requirement. And um, what else was there? Anything else? So secure and maintain the the state adjusting licenses as required for the position. So. Um, so it sounds like you don't need this license to get hired, but you need to be willing at some point to acquire this this license. So at least that's how I read it. Um, you need to be willing to uh, uh, travel. They do mention travel as required. Now, how far you'd have to travel, where you'd have to travel to, they don't mention that on here. So, um, but so they're they're quite vague as far as some of the requirements. Um, you know, I'm assuming you'll need at least a little experience for this this job. Um, you know, with experience in auto insurance, sorry, gardeners outside auto insurance or property damage, um, along something along those lines. Now, as far as the pay, um, this one pays a bit more from what I from what I recall. These sort of jobs pay on average um, closer to sixty thousand uh, dollars versus 40,000. So, but the, the, but uh, the barrier to entry is also higher for this job because it looks like they're looking for someone with experience. So, but this might be worth looking into as well. And that's it. So, so you have the uh, part-time customer service rep role in English and bilingual, and then the uh, claims representative auto role. So, and that's it. Um, but look, maybe you're here, here not necessarily because you just want a work from home job because the thing with work, these work from home jobs is, yes, I understand it's nice to, 
have a job from home where you're not having to commute two hours a day. Um, you get to work from the comfort of your own desk. Um, but it's still just a job at the end of the day. You're still having, you still have a boss to answer to. You still have the ongoing pressure of having to, you know, deliver projects and hit metrics. And, and as soon as you stop working, you stop getting paid, which for me is kind of a problem. Um, but maybe you're here because you're looking, you're just looking for a way to earn money from home and maybe earn, you know, real money, 30, 50, a hundred dollars an hour plus but without necessarily having to have a boss or report to someone or be hooked up to a headset all day. Well, if that's the case, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page, enter your best email. I can send you my free training that'll detail how the simplest and fastest way to earn a full-time income from home. It's not a business opportunity. It's actual you know, training on how to build your own online business. And this is the training that allowed me uh, to quit my call center job. And now I work from home uh, full time. So on my own schedule. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope to see you on the other side. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.